Mm. Fetching video streams, setting it up. Basically on Zoom, as soon as you hit that live button, you're live. Okay. All right, so redirecting and here we go. All right, so we are going to start over here at the joint chamber meeting um, and just hop right back in with Adam Kopp from Matic, who's going to go through the presentation. If anyone has any questions and they're on Facebook, you can put your questions in the comments. We'll try to answer them best we can. Okay. Thank you, Jessica, Jessica and Elaine. So uh, where were we is the big question. So um, I believe, I think we can skip over the five things we're going to talk about. Let's just talk about the customer journey map. So the customer journey is very, a great tool that you want to have so that when you're speaking to, uh, or when you're developing content, you're developing your strategies, you know who you're trying to target, right? So if you know you're trying to target a certain age group with certain, um, you know, characteristics, you know, that can really kind of come into play when you're developing content for, uh, for social and your website and so forth. So what we've developed and this, this presentation is going to be emailed out to everybody as well. So, um, what we've got here is essentially your customer journey, and it's going to go from general awareness down to them considering using your service or products, and then to them actually converting into a uh, product or service. And then, then they start to, now they've enjoyed your product, now they, you have some loyalty, and then they start to spread uh, you know, word of mouth marketing for you, which is the ultimate currency when it comes to marketing because you don't have to pay for it. It's valuable. It's coming from peer to peer, and there's so many... Um, great things as you kind of get people working through through your funnel. So in this presentation right here, when you when you click on it, it'll allow you to download this. Uh, it's a Google Slides document, so you can print it, you can draw on it, however you want to do it. But it basically runs you through um, you know key metrics as you want to be filling out your uh, different customer journeys and how you would interact with them and different uh, aspects like that. So. Customer journey map, highly recommend it. And if you feel like you have multiple customers, you know, definitely want to, uh, uh, you know, maybe fill out a, a couple of different versions uh, of this. And then it's got some explanations on there and different touch points and, and so forth. So that's in the link here. And then maybe you can put that link in as well. So once you've identified that, search engine optimization, otherwise known as SEO, um, is a is a big component of you know especially locally of things that you can do to help uh, help drive traffic digitally because everything we're talking about is digitally right so um, you know things like websites things like Google links blogs etc like that so five areas that you can uh, improve your uh, local SEO. Google My Business is a huge platform that continues to get strong, um, uh, you know, year after year. Uh, the there are some customer service opportunities in there. You can list hours, your menu. Like it's a whole platform that can be leveraged for your business. And there's a bunch of stats out there, but you know, it talks about like uh, with Google Maps, like you're most likely within a day. For if someone reaches your Google My Business, um, you know there's like a, it's a high statistic that they would they would visit your business that day. So you know you want to have nice photography on there. You want to have your accurate hours. You want to have updated reviews and response to reviews. You want they have uh, the ability now to direct message you through Google My Business. So you actually need to enable that on the app. It doesn't work on the desktop. So you have to enable the customers uh, aspect um, of that. And, and so that Google My Business is a huge platform. You can put offers on there. There's so much and, and Google uh, stats, right, you know, show that, you know, a weekly post will get you in a good position there. Um, general keywords. So knowing the keywords that you want to be focusing on, put those on your website because Google crawls your website to pick those up. So, you know, talk about the things that you want to uh, be focusing on. Like if you're a uh, boutique clothing store, then talk about the brands that you carry, talk about the types of clothes that you offer, talk about your hours. I mean, you know, just talk inside Google like you would talk to a customer. 
basically. Um, the third one is business listings, you know, getting your uh, business listed on, you know, various, you know, things like the chamber, things like free platforms that are out there. Uh, if you're a service-based business, there's things like Thumbtack and Home Advisor and things like that. So you want to know, uh, get, get your business on there, but also keep track of where you're listed because if there's the ability to, uh, if there's ability to uh, connect with you for questions or comments or so forth, you want to make sure that you have, uh, you're getting notified for that. Um, the last or the, the middle one there, I, I think is just a, is a nice improved, uh, website, mobile, responsive, clear communication and websites have always been, you know, a daunting thing for many small businesses. And so, you know, there's platforms out there, uh, Squarespace, Wix, Weebly that all have really made it somewhat easy. It's still not easy, but the, the, the coding and, and all of that has been taken out of there. So it's, it's purely content focused. Um, so highly recommend, recommend one of those platforms. And then the last one uh, being reviews, very powerful is to not only ask for reviews, but to respond to reviews, the good and the bad, um, to you know, take your best reviews and make a little graphic thumbnail that then gets posted on social media you know, so many different opportunities because like what we just talked about with the uh, word of mouth, you know, so now you're helping, you know, drive that word of mouth messaging um, through what other people are saying. So, um, you know, you want to basically, you know, Facebook offers reviews, Google My Business offers re reviews, and you want to really, you know, drive people and incentivize people to leave your reviews, not only with good customer service, but, you know, maybe asking them to do that. Um, so third category out of five, increase your social media content. So there's a fine balance here, right? Because you want to, you don't want to necessarily just be constantly putting content out there just for the sake of doing it. But I, I get asked a lot, like, should I post this too much or should I do that? I don't think that there's any clear rules by any means, but, you know, feel free to, to create content. Like that's, that's the whole point of these platforms is to be social and to put content out there about your business. And a lot of people are, uh, you know, get hesitant with video and, and, and questions like that. I get a lot, but you know, most of the people um, are not concerned about how you look or what you're doing on the video. It's more about what you're saying and what you're offering. And you can always turn the camera around and show your product, show the house that you're listing or what it might be. Um, but, you know, that's okay to just, just put it out there. Try stories because they disappear after 24 hours, uh, things like that. Um, okay, so in this category of increasing social media, uh, find your platforms. You know, there are a lot of different platforms out there, Facebook, Instagram, Google, LinkedIn, Twitter being kind of the top five. You don't have to do everything on all five. Like you don't, you don't need to. Like if you're a small uh, boutique clothing store, um, LinkedIn probably is not going to be where you're going to find most of your customers. You know, this community in general, Stanwood Camano, is very strong on Facebook. There's a big, uh, there's a lot of the community on Facebook. So Facebook is a great place to start. And as you know, they have a lot of features. They have a they have a complete shop feature that you can put on there. You can put your products on there. And with their integration with uh, Instagram, it allows you to, you know, leverage both of those platforms and really hone your content in there. And then maybe LinkedIn, which is more of a business to business angle. Maybe that's more of your personal content as you're looking to connect with buyers. You're looking to connect with other potential business owners to bring their brand in. So just know the different platforms and know that it doesn't need to be equal across the board. Um, so we talked about increasing your content. We talked about being social and interacting, you know, so in that whole social interacting is, is if you post something and somebody leaves you a comment, respond to them. Like that's what the whole point is, is that they are, whether, even if it's not like a question, like they're there, they've, they've taken their time to in, in consume your content. Now they're taking their time to put some content out there. So you want to engage with them and get them going, make them feel that they are um, 
you know, that you're engaged with them, you would invite them in and so forth. So all of that is, is yes, it's just posting, but it's also engaging with people that comment and then also going out there and commenting on other people's content, right? So if someone tags you in a post or, you know, you, you're looking to bring people into your store um, as a small boutique, uh, I'm just going to stay on that path just so we're not bouncing around, but like if I'm a small boutique business owner um, with uh, clothing, you know, go out there and target your customers that you want to target, find them on Facebook and make comments as the page, you know, and, and invite them in and make sure that they know that you're out there and, and befriend them. And, you know, and then there's different strategies on Facebook than there are LinkedIn, right? So, or sorry, uh, Instagram. Instagram is a little bit more, you can, you know, comment on people and, and follow and so forth. Um, you know, a couple, a couple of different strategies there. So fourth category, email marketing. Email is still very much alive. And I'm going to, um, you know, throw in text marketing is a new uh, growing uh, platform as well. Um, so asking people for their emails. And so gathering emails and um, putting out um, putting out their consistent content that is relevant to your business and speaks um, to your customers. And it doesn't always need to be sales. It doesn't always need to be a 30% off thing. Like those are great. You got to put them in there. You got to go for the ask, but also put out content about new products that are available, you know, new things you're doing, improvements. Like people want to know that you are doing these types of things. So the same stuff that you're putting on social media, you can gather kind of the best of the best and start putting out monthly emails. Then you start to work in weekly emails. Like that has been um, something that I've been working on for the last couple of years. And at first the Matic Monday was monthly and now we've gotten into a nice rhythm, it's weekly. And then we've then expanded it to Facebook Live. So you start to kind of catch a rhythm once you've um, built, um, build kind of your system, you know? So there's a bunch of different platforms out there. MailChimp is a very popular one because it's free up to a thousand users or emails. Uh, Constant Contact is also an option as well. And then um, and then there's some others. Uh, we use Active Campaign, which is a little bit more robust. It's got a bunch of tools and so forth, and but it's a little bit on the higher price wise as well. So, um, yeah, the consistency of the emails is, is something I really recommend. So maybe you pick a day of the week or uh, a consistent time that you're hitting it out there and, and same subject, have the same um, look and feel each time and just start to you know track it and don't give up after two or three times. Like you have to keep going. Um, so there's a couple links in here as well. And then the text marketing, you know, verdicts out on the text marketing if people really like it and everything. But if I think about you know, different uh, small boutique shops, you know, text marketing, especially if you do it right and you're asking people, hey, would you like to be a part of my text marketing campaign? Put your email right, or your email and your phone number so you grab both. And then you can start messaging people on different deals or creating conversations. Uh, it's the, the numbers are ridiculous, like 90% text messages are open. Of course they are, right? Because they're text messages, they're different than emails. But, uh, um, you know, so, but consider that that is definitely a thing. Um, and I, we, we do some text marketing um, and I, re, I put it out there and uh, there was, I put one out there that was basically like, do you like text marketing? And I got a fair bit of no. Um, and then like the follow up was like, do you want me to remove you from the list? And they, and half of those people said, no, keep me on the list. So I thought that was kind of funny, but but um, there's, I got a lot of people that said yes, right? So it just comes down to how people want to interact with you. And that's why when you're checking out, if you're checking out and you got customers in your business and you have the ability to ask them for their email and or their phone number, and you're very clear about what you're doing with that, then uh, I think you'll find people will do either one and then that way they'll interact with you. Um, and something kind of just thought of that with that with like people's they have their membership like punch cards and things like that. Uh, you probably have a lot of phone numbers already, uh, especially if you're tracking people that way. So that is uh, something to consider with email and text. 
And so once you've gone through all of that and you're ready to, you know, really take, you know, your marketing to the next level, you've got the ability and to do digital advertising. So digital ads, and I put this graphic in here. So owned media is like your website, your, your content, your blogs, your social media that you're putting out there every day. Um, Earn media is your likes, your shares, your tweets, retweets, et cetera. Like the things that the word of mouth, all of that is kind of, you know, the spread of word, your reputation, basically. And then paid media is what we're going to talk about in this section, which is digital advertising, right? Like, so you've got a couple of different options. The Google is, uh, if you can't tell, uh, I like Google and I think their platform is really strong. And so that's why I lean into it, Google Drive, et cetera. But um, so within Google, you have search, right? So if you punch in a keyword, uh, you know, boutique uh, clothing business in the area, you know, you can pay for those keywords just for people typing in. Then you have display, which are different like banner ads that would pop up on different websites that enable Google ads. So you can have a little picture of different uh, products and so forth. Uh, remarketing Google ads are if you go, if someone comes to your website, then, and you want to remarket to that person because that's a potential customer, they've been to your website then you can have display ads show up on either social media or different websites that uh, ask for or, or allow that. And then YouTube, which is owned by Google, um, there is uh, pre-roll ads that go be ahead of YouTube videos. So there's a big opportunity to do uh, short videos, you know, 10 second videos. And we're working right now with a client that we, we have asked them to, we did some really nice fancy ads, but that now that we did those, now we're asking them to film ads on their cell phone and we're then deploying those ads because we feel like those are going to get a lot more traction because it, it's real and it's authentic. So that's your Google category. And then over here on social media, you have Facebook ads, Instagram ads, LinkedIn, Twitter. LinkedIn is pretty expensive in that category, but Facebook, uh, Instagram gives you a lot of opportunity. And there's, you know, tons of different types of ads in there, video, photo, carousel, et cetera. But there's a huge opportunity there. So really, again, kind of knowing where you want to fit and track uh, people, um, that's where you are in the digital advertising. So then we got, let's see here, one last, yeah. So then one last basic slide is your digital advertising the different types of ads. So there's different types of ads that you want to use to drive people into your funnel. So general video ads, display ads, um, promoted social media posts, that's going to be in your awareness and interest um, kind of category. And then you have your consideration, intent, uh, evaluation, which is going to be in that remarketing, which is what we talked about with someone who's already been to your website. Now you want to kind of hit them with an ad that gives them a little bit more information. Um, and then your conversion campaigns, which would, uh, you know, there's a lot of complexity that goes into that. I get it, but um, in general, and then there's a nice article that dives into detail there. So those are the five areas that you can use to improve your digital strategy for today and for 2021, because that is not too far away. And the only ask that I have, if you're looking for more insights on this, sign up for your Matic Monday email that goes out every Monday at 7 a.m. And there's a lot more details on all of these aspects in there. So thank you for, and if anybody wants, uh, here's my contact information. If anybody has any questions, concerns, happy to talk with anybody. Uh, um, with, about any of the stuff we talked about. Thank you, Adam, especially with all of the um, issues we had today. So thank yeah. you for getting that information out. Um, again, I'd encourage everyone to sign up for the Matic Monday emails. They're really helpful information that you can digest every week. Um, and definitely contact Adam and the Matic team if you need any additional work done or um, they're just great for the, and help the community out a lot. So. 
Thank you for this. Um, so chamber members, we will be emailing out a PDF of this presentation um, as well as the video that you can access. So you'll get that in your email shortly. And thanks for your patience today. I take it we did not get any questions. Um, I do not believe we did get any questions. No. With all, with no. all that back and forth. But. Yeah, I think we would have um, had questions, but with the back and forth. We did great, though. Thank you.